Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Beef and Barnsley channel. Today we're going to put the Zen U through its paces. I'm going to bowl on four different patterns. I'm going to bowl on the house shot. I'm going to bowl on Cheetah. I'm going to bowl on Mark Roth. And I'm going to bowl on Carmen Salvino. Hopefully, uh, bowl on these four different patterns will give you a good idea of what the Zen U actually does in a real world environment. The Zen U features a new Urethane Plus cover stock. And it has the Zen Core, but it's been severely modified it's now 256 rg and 027 diff well, what does that mean well it means the ball's going to flare a lot less and it's probably not going to the weight block isn't going to encourage it to get into a roll quite as soon which with a urethane ball is a pretty good option i think that the cover on this ball is going to be quite a bit stronger than the pitch black so on cheetah I kind of compared it with the pitch black, but on the other patterns, I would never really be able to use the pitch black on these, so I didn't really do any comparisons. First up is the house shop, so let's see what it does on there, and then after that, we'll get back, we'll have a little chat about it, and then we'll move on to Cheetah. So as you can see, on the house shot, the ball really controlled the uh, the wet dry nicely. I think you're probably going to need kind of a higher volume house shot to be able to use it though, because the Zen U is pretty strong. Um, in comparison to the pitch black on this, I would never be able to use the pitch black on this because I'd have to stand too close to the dry and then that would almost make the lanes too over under. The main strength of the Zen U on this pattern was that I could kind of play the oil line, but it had enough pop in the back to uh, get out the 10 and to give me some miss room. All right, I'll hook it a little bit to start with, then we'll go a little straight, a little harder, see what happens.
that was the cheetah pattern. As you can see, I think for me, the Zen is probably a little bit too strong to use on the fresh on cheetah. It kind of makes me get away from the spot of the lane that I really want to bowl. The pitch black is definitely the go-to on this pattern for me. Maybe once the carry down occurs and I'm forced out of the pitch black, the Zen U might be a good option. But overall, I think it's probably a little bit too strong for me to use on this pattern. Let's have a look at Mark Roth. Okay, well the Mark Roth pattern is one of the ones that we use on the PBA Tour quite a bit. Actually, we use it more than almost any other pattern. It gets used in the PBA League a lot, with it being the Mark Roth MVP trophy. And it also gets used in the Roth Holman doubles a lot. This pattern's pretty tough for me, because usually I get forced away from that kind of really good spot where you can go straight. Um, a lot of the two-handers really like this pattern because they can throw it really hard and there's enough recovery if they miss left or right. For me, with a lower rev rate, I can't use a lot of speed on this pattern because it's still 42 feet and the ball doesn't really recover. But if I don't and I use slow speed, it forces me away from the spot and then it kind of gets a little bit over under. I've seen a few guys use urethane on this in the past, but I've never had enough hand uh, to be able to use the pitch black. Now with the Zen U, like you can see, this is where this ball thrives on these kind of higher volume or medium, medium, medium long patterns, I think that the Zen U is gonna be a really useful tool for me. I should be able to control the pocket where with some of the other balls, it's like kind of having to make them fit a little bit more. So fingers crossed, this is definitely gonna be a useful piece for me on this Mark Roth pattern that is cr so crucial to each year on the PBA Tour. Okay, let's move on to the Carmen Salvino. The Carmen Salvino is four feet longer than the Mark Roth pattern. So let's see what happens.
Okay, so that was the 44 foot Carmen Salvino, um, two feet longer than Roth, not four. Um, this pattern plays a lot flatter than the Roth. There isn't anywhere near as much recovery um, if you're going to miss right. I don't think that this would be the ideal scenario for me to use the Zenyu, to be honest. Um, but with how strong it was, as long as I focused on getting the ball into a roll, you could see that I could control the pocket pretty well with that ball. However, with the longer pattern, I feel like a reactive ball for me personally would have probably been a better option. I could see really high rev rate guys being able to use this Zen U really well on this pattern. Overall, I think that the Zen U gives me a very versatile option on medium to longer patterns to like control the pocket early on. In comparison to the UC3, I think that it's a little bit more predictable, whereas the UC3 could get a little bit under over. Um, I think that the Zen U with it being a symmetrical core and a little bit less flare is going to give you like that more predictable ball motion that you expect out of regular urethane. I think that lower rev rate guys are going to really like this on the shorter pattern. For me being the kind of in-between guy, I felt like it forced me too far left to be able to control them in the way I like to. Um, so in that case, I'm probably going to use the pitch black on the shorter patterns, but when guys are able to control the pocket, on medium and longer patterns with the pitch black. I don't usually have much success with that because I can't really make the pitch black continue. This is where I really think that the Zen U is gonna come into its own for me. And I'm really excited to try it on the PBA's tour season uh, coming up this year. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Uh, keep an eye out for more videos on the Beef and Barnsley channel. Take it easy guys, bye.